Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on Coinbase in 2024. So today, we're diving into the realm of account security by learning how to enable the two-factor authentication for your Coinbase account. So with 2FA, you will add an extra layer of security to your Coinbase account. And of course, that will protect your digital assets and personal information. So join me through this guide on how to do it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, I'll need to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser as an example. And for you, of course, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to this URL section and here you will have to type coinbase.com and hit the market uh, enter button. Once you do so, you should be taken to their home screen or main screen right away. So I don't know why they take me here. So let me just go and open an incognito instead and go to this. Yeah. So here is an example, you find yourself at their home screen or main screen right away. And of course, if you have an account, you'll be basically able to click on sign in to sign in into your account without any problems. And if you don't have an account, of course, you can just go and click on sign up and create a new account from the beginning. If you're an individual or business, whatever it is. Of course, in your if you're on your phone, just go to your phone, make sure to log in into a new account or create a new account. It's going to be basically the same steps. Example here, if we click on sign in, I'll be able to sign in with our account, click on continue password click on continue invalid credentials let me just go and enter it manually just in case okay maybe forgot my password so let me just go and try for the last time and if it did not work okay so basically once you're logged into your account of course you'll have access to your accounts uh, of course this is the incognito here i don't know why even i cannot accept the terms so they said uh, like i'm having connection connection issues but as you can see i can access anything and my connection is fine so maybe they have a problem at their website at the moment so to provide more visuals of course i'll just go and as an example and access an article and show you exactly how it should be done of course basically if you want to like enable the 2FA it will be pretty simple I'll just tell you the steps then I'll go and look into an article so basically you'll have to access your account settings you'll basically find your account or your icon at the top right corner just go and access that and go and locate the secure set settings click on it and you'll find the two-factor authentication option just go and click on that choose the 2FA method for you download the app of course if you're choosing the app option which is the recommended option just download any authentication app like Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, uh, Password One, or some even uh, Authenticator like extensions if you want to use some. So just do whatever suits you, then simply go through the process with that can be easy. So as an example, I'll just open a new tab, just type enable 2FA in Coinbase. So as simple as that. And I'll try to go yeah through the articles, which is provided by help.coinbase.com, which is the support of them. So you can see two steps, verification, updates, or troubleshoot. So here's, as you can see, if you want to use this SMS or push as an example, here is like, if you don't have access to your phone number, here's the tips for it. If you have access to the phone number and you want to change your verification, your verification method, here's the steps. And for the authenticator app, so if you don't have access to your app, here's the tips on how to do it. And if you don't have, if you have access to it and you want to just change your verification method, basically go to your Coinbase, go to your settings, security, and select upgrade your two-factor authentication. Of course, that's if you already have it. But if you don't, instead of upgrade, you'll find enable because it's going to be your first time. Then select the method that you prefer and follow the remaining prompts. Basically, you will have to scan a QR code if you are on your PC. But if you're logged in into your phone and you cannot scan your QR code, they'll even give you a setup key as an example. Instead, so you can type it out manually into your authenticator app. Then simply, they will provide you with some six, uh, six digits. Of course, just enter or copy that six digits and enter it back in Coinbase and you will enable that uh, uh, 2FA right away. Of course, you can even remove the old method if you uh, like upgrade it, as, uh, like in case of upgrade. Of course, you can even use the code or pen as an example. And yeah, so let me even see if there's like 
like uh, where can where they provide like more visuals it seems like not so this is for this two uh, steps verification of course set up for the first time this was for upgrade as an example in here so let's just go through the setup so as you can see there are three methods sms authenticator application or security key of course this even included in authenticator some authenticator applications so it's basically two methods but of course you can choose the option that suits you normally or the recommended one is this authenticator apps so as you can see we recommend an authenticator app especially if you plan to use like or to have multiple users share access to the account the majority of coinbase clients use one of the below authenticator apps but any app that supports the time based one time password uh, TOTP protocol should work so as you can see they give you three options like uh, here Google Authenticator, Duo Mobile and Microsoft Authenticator and you will need to download of course an Authenticator application in advance of modifying your two steps verification so for me I'm using this one which is Google Authenticator uh, it's pretty simple of course so as an example I'll just type on install here to show you how it's going to look like and of course as you can see you'll have to go to your Coinbase settings then security settings as we said and go and scroll down to the two steps verification and click on enable and you will have to go through the steps so basically once you click on enable they will give you a QR code as we said or uh, like a code or setup key what you'll need to do is simply go to your uh, Google Authenticator so you'll have to click on get started and log in into your account basically and then you will find yourself on something like that so of course if it's your first time not find the code for here so you'll basically have to click on this plus button and normally let's see if they provide like when you click on plus button what they're gonna show you so it, it does not show you but it's fine so once you click on this plus button you'll find the scan qr code or enter setup key choose whatever suits you so if you're on your pc you can scan it from your phone if you are logging in through from your phone just click on enter setup key because they will give you a key like an example they will give you a qr code to scan or a setup key so just uh, copy that and enter it right here and you'll find like coinbase name in here with the code that they give you like this and it will change every 30 seconds you'll have to copy that go back to your coinbase paste that code and the 2fa will be enabled so that's going to be it for me today you successfully of course for you know or understand how to enable a 2fa or two-factor authentication on your coinbase account so with 2fa activated your digital assets and personal informations are now better protected so keep your authentication methods safe and consider even enabling 2FA for other accounts for enhanced security. So if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel for more helpful stories like this one. So thank you for watching again and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.